Hi everyone, have you ever been confused by Power BI? If so, don't worry, you are not alone, especially if you are new in your Power BI journey. The most frequently asked questions that I get from new Power BI report users is in fact, what is this Power BI report filtered by? There are so many options to filter data in Power BI. Some of them are not always visible to the naked eyes, unless if you know where to look. For examples, you can use slices, such as those that I have placed at the top of the screen, or you can use filter panes on the side of the screen, if they are made visible. And within the filter panes itself, there are three different types of filters. Filters on these visuals, on this page, and on all pages. Or your data can be filtered by other visuals or other charts or table selections. No wonder why people are often confused and ask, what is this report filtered by? Fortunately, there is a simple way to understand the filtering criteria that have been applied to your reports. So if you want to understand what filter has been applied to a visual, there is a quick and easy way to do that, and that's by looking for this filter sign. And then hover around it, and it will give you the answer. So for example, this sales by country has been filtered by five criteria. Country is not Canada, discount ban is high, discount is greater than 100, manufacturing price is not three, and month number is the following. Yeah. So we can have multiple filtering criteria being applied. And in fact, sometimes it can be more than five. For example, if you click these visuals, for example, let's select the product paseo only so i'm going to click that and then notice if i hover back into that filter sign now i have six because there is one more filter which is product is paseo only that's because i clicked that earlier which is this product yeah? and if i say for example hold the shift button and select paseo and valoi as the two selections for my sales by product watch in here in that filter that now includes Paseo and Valoi. So this filter box really useful to help us to answer the question, what sort of filtering has been applied in here? Now, in all visuals, you will be able to find that filter. So watch, that's a filter over there. And even in this line chart, if you hover up, that's where you can see that. And at the bottom in here, we've got a table. And if you go to the top right hand corner, you can see the same thing as well. So you can see four filters in here. Now, you may be wondering, where does the filtering take place? Yeah. You can only see three slicers on top. And we are only selecting the products, these two products in here. And if I, if we click it one more time to clear it, you know, that will be gone. But that filtering is still there. Yeah. So Three slicers on top, that's all, all and all. But the month has got selection, so that explains this month number being filtered in here. Yeah. So if you click the month, see how everything is selected except the last one. Uh, now, if you want to, we can clear this filter. And the easiest way to clear that is by clicking that eraser button. And watch, if I click that, and we will be able to see more months down here. At the moment, we are missing December. Yeah? So I'm going to click this and then watch the December now appears. And if we hit that filter button, that month is no longer being displayed in that filter. Yeah. Now I have three slices in here. I'm not really clicking or selecting the charts. Why do I have filters? Two filters in here, discount band and discounts. Now there is a place called filter panes that's on the right over here sometimes it's hidden like this you have to click that arrow sign to expand it yeah. and when you expand that you will see three types of filter filter on these visuals filter on this page and filter on all pages yeah so filter on this visual really depends on what visual are you clicking so if you are clicking say for example these line charts then this filter on this visual is only applicable for that line chart if you click the bar chart over here then that filter on visuals is only applicable for that bar chart it's not applicable for the other visuals over here like charts or table or slices that's the meaning of filters on visual 
Say for example, I'm clicking sales by country bar chart and there is some filtering in here, yeah, which is country is not Canada. So similar to previously, if you want to clear it, you can hit that eraser button to clear the filter. If you hover in here, country Canada is no longer a filter, yeah, but there is still manufacturing price in here, not three, which is this other filter. And you can clear it as well if you want. Yeah. And once you clear it, that will disappear from there. So that is filters on the visuals. And I mentioned to you earlier that there are also a filter on this page, such as this gown is greater than 10. Yeah. Now, if you click this button, it will expand that. You can see this is advanced filtering. It's greater than 100. There are other options. It can be it's less than 2 or it's not blank, etc, etc. And similar to previously, you can clear it if you want to by clicking that. Or you can hide it so that people don't see it. Or you can lock it so that people don't accidentally change it. Now, so filter on this page is applicable to all visuals on this page. And there is another option, the third type of filtering, filter on all pages, which is applicable not just on this page, but all the pages, such as the waterfall page. And that filter is applicable on everything yeah, on this page. So if I hover there uh, to that filter sign, notice discount band is high, is also applicable for that visual. Yeah? Uh, notice when I hover in here, discount band which is a filter for all pages is also applicable for this visual so that's basically an overview of filters the various options where filters can be applied which sometimes is not visible but if you want to see what filter has been applied really just find that filter button and you can read it in there sometimes you can't see the filter pane on the side and therefore you cannot click that like this don't worry, all you need to do is go to view, filter. If you click this, the filter pane is hidden. If you click it one more time, the filter pane is now shown. Congratulations, we have now reached the end of the video. Hope you have learned something useful and will no longer be confused with various Power BI filtering contexts within Power BI. See you next time.